We're going to talk about RFC 1998, which is a traffic engineering RFC, and it's about using communities to set local pref on a remote autonomous system. An RFC 1998 is an informational RFC, which means it doesn't describe a particular standard. However, it has recommendations on how you can implement load sharing and backup on multiple inter-AS links. And the way it works is you use BGP communities to determine what the remote AS is going to set the local preference as on each of these links. In this way, you give control to the customer. So the customer doesn't have to call the upstream provider with instructions on what to do for each prefix that is um, sent to the upstream provider. And it also simplifies the upstream's configuration because they can use the same template to many diff different customers. And the main guest of the RFC 1998 was certain community values were defined to have particular meanings. For example, S and then the S number and then the community 100 would mean to the upstream provider to set a local preference of 100. And this would be the preferred path. If you had an S number, then community value of 90, then you'd set the local preference to 90. Or if you had 80, then you set the local preference to 80. And similarly, if you had 70, then you set the local preference to 70. And this has certain implications. So if it's 100, then this is the preferred path. If it's 90, then this is the backup. If it's geo-homed onto that particular AS. If you see an 80, then it indicates that the main link is probably on another ISP with the same AS path length. And if it's a 70, then the main link is to another ISP. Now, the upstream ISP is the one who defines which communities are going to be um, used. And the customers then attach those communities they want to the prefix announcements they are making. And as a simple example, if you have your upstream as AS100, and you want to declare a particular path as a backup path, what your customer would do is create a community 100 colon 70 and send that to AS100 attached to a particular prefix. AS100 receives the prefix with that community 170 tagged and then set the local preference on that particular prefix on that particular announcement to be 70. This next slide shows you the sample router configuration for the customer. So the customer is in AS130. So you have router BGP130. And um, for this example, let's look at IPv4. The neighbor would be the IP address of the upstream provider. And we are using a root map. And the name is AS100-out in the outbound direction. Now we have an AS path list that we are going to use later inside the root map. And the filter list just says permit and then the empty AS path, which means permit anything that has been originated from this particular network. And then inside the root map, in, uh, root map AS100, we have a permit statement, permit 10. And then we match this AS path list that we've just created with a number reference there. And then we say we are going to set the community to 100 colon 70. On the ISP side, um, which is this slide that you can see uh, by looking at the router BGP100. So this is a router in AS100. And they have the neighbor with a remote AS130, which is a customer that we just configured. And we have the root map customer-policy-in in the inbound direction. Note that this customer policy on the inbound direction does not have to be unique for each customer. You could apply the same root map to many different customers. So inside the community list that you create with the IP community list 7, you say permit um, 170. And then if something means home to another ISP with equal AS path length, you can say community list 8, permit 180. And then you could have backup roots, which is community list 9, permit 190. And this is a way you can easily tell which local preference you want to apply by just the number of the community list that you're going to be using. So this slide shows you the configuration that we should um, apply to the root map to match these communities. 
So the first statement matches the community seven, the community list seven, which we saw on the previous slide is to permit 100 colon 70. And it's going to set the local preference on any advertisement that matches this to 70. And we haven't looked at examples of the customers sending different communities, but if it matched community eight, we'll set the local preference 80. If it matched community nine, we'll set the local preference 90. And lastly, we set the local preference to 100 to anything that doesn't match any of the ones above. So your default local preference is 100. A local preference of 100 is, is the default local preference, but it helps to have it explicitly configured in the root map so that somebody who's debugging can tell what the intent is. So RFC 1998 was an inspiration for a way of making these many different community policies work. And they are no standard communities for what the ISPs are going to do. But best practices today consider that ISPs should use BGP communities for the multi-homing support of traffic engineering. And what most of the larger ISPs are going to document this inside their AS objects, inside the internet routing uh, registries that have their documentation about how they plan to use these communities. So last we have a simple example. We have two links to an ISP. One link is primary, the other one is backup, which is what we just went through quickly. And on the left of this diagram, you can see AS100 with routers C, D, and E. And on the right, you have AS65534 with routers A and B. The link between routers A and C is meant to be the primary, and the link between B and D is to be the backup. And the plan is um, AS100 is going to aggregate for AS65534. So how do you implement this? You announce the slash 19 aggregate on each link. The primary link makes the standard announcement of the slash 19. The backup link sends a community that signals to AS100 that the local preference should be lower. So when one link fails, the announcement of the slash 19 aggregate on, continues on the other link and that ensures um, continued connectivity. So for router A, which is the customer router um, in AS65534, you have this configuration. So we're setting a prefix list to make sure that we are announcing just the aggregate and, and nothing else. And we are accepting the default route from our upstream. On router B, we do the same thing. We have the aggregate, which is being announced out. We are accepting the default route in, but we additionally have a route map, router D dash out, set on the outbound. Uh, Additionally to that, we also have a route map on the inbound, which we shall look at um, in the next slides. So for the outbound, um, router D dash out, we have a permit 10, which matches the aggregate and sets the community to, to 100 colon 90. 100 is the, is the S of our upstream and 90 is what we want them to set a local preference. And then we have a second statement, which is permit 20. So if anything doesn't match the aggregate, you want it to be permitted, but you don't want to set a community on anything else. So for the inbound router, route map router D permit 10, you want to set your local preference to 90 because they're going to send you the same default route that they sent to um, the router router A. Now, router C's configuration this is the ISP's router on the main link, has customer in, default out, and the default will permit just the default route, so there's no LE or GE, it's just permit 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. And then for router D, which is the backup link, in addition to having the default out, you have the prefix list for the customer, which is inbound, but Importantly, you have the route map that applies the local preference, which is on the next slide. Inside that route map, you're going to match a community list 90, which says permit the particular community 100 colon 90. 
And so the route map, the first statement says, if you match that community, set the local preference to 90. The next statement does not have a match statement, so it's going to match every other prefix that did not match above. And it's going to set the local preference there to 100, which is the default, but again, it's good to be explicit. So this um, summarizes how this could be done, and you can make things a little bit more complicated, which we shall see in the next videos.